fortune's fame Mirror Bain Gone insane But the memory remains Mars Log Otis is dead. You remember Otis. He hung around Zion, was one of the protectors and guards, and then just fucking betrayed us all to Mickey Knox by kidnapping Megan. Yeah, that fucking Otis. I cannot begin to tell you how badly we wanted to just give him a great big cuddle in between the jaws of an industrial steel asshole crusher. Well, Frank put a bullet right in his prick switch and turned the damn thing off for good. Bless that crazy bastard. There's now little itty bitty Otis pieces decorating the wall of some building somewhere. Courtesy of Frankie going fucking Rambo. Shamefully, I missed that one. But I was full of praise for the man when we met up. Gold fucking star for Frankie. But now, we are heading back to Zion to see who we left behind that's in the fight, and we bring him out, you know. But Frank had the suspicion that with over half of the fighting force off base, we may run into some problems. You know, it's like saying Miley Cyrus might as well be some kid's first experience with pornography. It's just that fucking believable. What we were confronted with was everything we suspected. When the guard dogs are not there, the wolves move in. We had the bastards, but which bastards? Sure enough, when we get further in and on land, we start to hear voices. There was a commotion, so we go deadly silent, and we tiptoe our way around, scoping out the situation before we engage. There's fucking gunfire flying through the air, and shouting, and well, huh. Me and Frank, we just look at each other, and being the balls of bastards we've apparently decided to be, we head on up, because we don't have a fucking clue what's going on now. I mean, did we just zone out into a world fucking war here? What the fuck is going on? Guys, come the fuck here. Come to the first floor I'm now. I'm here. I'm here, God damn it! Jesus Christ. Oh, it's a dim there, Alan. Uh. What, say again? I can't freaking hear you. How is it in there? Well, how do you think it's in here, huh? One point in gunner check? One for uh. loading? I'm just gonna keep quiet, okay? I'm not saying anything anymore. I don't want to get my freaking head blown off. But at this point, I'm thinking, hmm, good golly, Miss Zion. Now this is something we wanted. Because by now, everyone knows where we are anyway. So at least the little lambs have come to us. It wasn't what we originally wanted, but that's our reality now. So it'd be fucking stupid if we didn't use this to our own advantage and make the most out of a shitty situation. We are, after all, at war. I have some strong thoughts on Zion. No, honestly, I mean, I do. I, I feel kinship with the people here. But naturally, I have some small complaints, and I will be in need of sharing some friendly advice whenever they decide that we are up and moving out again. And this won't be for all of them, just the avid advertisers preaching about our safety and our security and blah 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 What the fuck ever on this big fucking island you could miss if you were rich or prior going in the wrong fucking direction on a dark night. Now seeing as no such thing as safe zones exist, we are drawing in some gullible sons of bitches who end up about as disappointed as my parents. So here is my advice to them. You make us look like targets! 
I can't take a piss without someone getting shot at these days because of you. Oh, I know your side of the story. We want everyone to be safe and secure from all the bandits and the cannibals and the horrible things out there. Well, shit. Damn solid argument there. I get that. What I want to know is what one of you Einsteins thought up this award-winning solution of also telling all these horrible fucking things where we sleep at night. To avoid that shit, you have to be smart. You have to scope people, study them. And how do you do that? By throwing up flowers and matching on the streets, singing, The party's here? No! Wrong fucking answer! Whoopsie! I'm sorry, but we've just announced the buffet to every bandit cannibal motherfucker this side of Chiraris! The idea here is to make the people feel safe, and you make it look like the men toward crazies are moving in beside them. People are going to get fucking killed here, but that's the reality. We have to just deal with it. The good news is, we are now actively hunting these assholes, so for me, this might as well be Christmas. While we were at this little stand out there, I mean, can we could have uh, something to scare us up? I mean, I'd, I'd rather not, you know. Uh, I'm in a, quite a predicament here, don't you think? And, uh, not really in the mood to see. Look, your you friend is uh, whistling for you. He's giving you the tongue. Now it's too dark to make out who is who here. Who is the good guy? Who is the bad? So with guns pointed, me and Frankie are whistling to those close to get their attention. And this deaf bastard is a little too focused on the task at hand. He ain't paying any damn attention to our ninja asses. And now I want to just slap him like a two dollar whore from a Hollywood best picture. If only to make him turn the fuck around. Now Frankie boys just fucking lost it. And I thought I was an impatient bastard. He goes running out there like a hare through a trap. Huh, he must have recognized the guy or something. So I go around the side to try and give him some cover, but luckily those outside were our guys. And we are quickly filled in. What's the situation? Back, back, back. We got fucking... is mine. Um, he dresses in quite a bit of black like me. He wears, um, I don't know, just kind of a ball cap. And yeah, he should be Does wearing one of those white dresses. Right. What's the goddamn yes. script here? He's holding Alan hostage. Oh, yep, fuck but me. clothes, anything, cannibal. How does it look? Cannibals. You hear that, Ruth? Sons of bitches came to us, just like I said they would. When we're away, they're sneaking in and preying on those left behind. <laughs> it must be my birthday. It wasn't Mickey Knox and his crew, no. It was these assholes who took your beautiful self. And now, I just can't fucking wait to equate myself with these soon-to-be dead men. Barbie is wailing like a mad bitch. And I love every goddamn sound of it. I can hear the sound of... Well, I can't hear the... I can't hear the sound of anyone else, just my lady. You have to understand the mindset of a real killer. When you've lost it and all you see is red, everything suddenly changes when you are close to blood. And as far as I'm concerned, me and these cannibals are the only people left in this whole fucking world. These assholes killed my friend. And here's a little pinch of reality. I'ma make them eat. There are just some people you do not fuck with on a sane mind. When you take from me, I'ma hurt you. And if I find you, you will be lucky to get away with just your intentions being yanked out through your ass with a crowbar. You see, people seem to have the wrong impression of me. When I smell blood, I will not give up pursuit. Someone is gonna have to die, so they better kill me, because I will do whatever, say whatever, act 
However, I fucking need to in order to get them. I'm one heathen psycho fuck, and I will do everything to get what I want. I just hope they understand I'm on their side, while I inevitably expose the other side of me. This isn't like that time an axe murderer walked into camp. I actively have been hunting these bastards. But, uh, okay. We do have a hostage situation, though. So I'm having to drain out the voice of Barbie. Her voice is so beautiful. She's singing like a goddamn angel, and her dress is dancing around me in a crimson red. But Alan is up there. He's a prisoner of these, these morsels now. Island, he's one of the guards. I'm already to trying to, to drown out the knowledge that they came here, killed and cut up Lazarus. I'm hearing them speak of it in the background, kind of waking me up. But it is a soft mumble masked by the screams of my creeping vengeance. Now, I met Lazarus briefly. He was a good man. He had a voice like a, a cheese grater, rough as fuck, you know. My first impression, he was a motherfucking dragon. And I was honestly just waiting for him to breathe fire. The only thing that's settling my mind right now is the promise I just made myself that none of these motherfuckers were making it off this island with their heads intact. <laughs> you watch Lazarus, you mean old bastard. We're gonna send these wastes of a good wank up to see you before the devil claims their tortured souls. So just you sit there slapping that funky monkey and watch over us, buddy. This is a show you're not gonna want to miss. I tell Frank I'm going in. He disagrees with my tactical choice. I just got here. Frank, I'm going in there, man. Fuck, why am I just... Because I, I can see a person. Just wait, just wait. Bye. I'm gonna go in and try and talk him down. He fucking eats people, man. Yeah, well, he ain't gonna be that fucking stupid with so many people. I disagree with his disagreement. Look, Mr. Mr. Cannibal Man, if you seriously think, well, you're gonna get out of this alive. In fact, we both know you ain't gonna get out of this alive if you're doing it like this. I mean, honest to God, there's good people on this island, and Alan, Alan. Personally, yes, yes. There is no reasoning out of this. Well, I think you Not find there me. probably is reasoning out of this. You, you really haven't met everybody on this island. It's a freaking good place. I negotiate with the prey. <laughs> Talk to me, man. I'm Marv. It is a pleasure to meet you. Can we work out some arrangement which will allow you to release Alan with mutual interest? I am willing to Who hear you. Alan is gonna die. If Alan dies, I have given you my word right now, you are going to die in the most fucking horrific way possible. But if you are kind enough to release this man, we will see about getting you off this island alive. Speak back to me, please. We can work something out. I fucking lie to him. There is no way out of this the way you are doing this. Do not be a fucking idiot. See? There you go. There is reasonable people on this island. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody's freaking reasonable on this island. That might be, but who said I was reasonable? Are you fucking an idiot? Oh. Are you hearing yourself speaking here? Do you want to live? You don't want to fucking die, obviously. 
I don't give a damn if you're a cannibal or not, you're still a goddamn person. People do not like the idea of dying, because dying fucking sucks. Can we at least agree on that much, or are you that much of a goddamn motherfucking psychopath? Well, I'm eating people for for uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you ask me. You're not well, you're gonna eat them much more no. if you don't choose to come down with your arms up. That's, well, I tell you what, I will die anyway if I come with my arms up. You will not, as long as you release the hostage. Unlike you, some people have a sense of code. I can understand why you eat people, hunting's fucking difficult, and all the cans out there taste like shit. I get that. But there must be other alternatives than what you are doing right now. You hear me? Use your words, son. I tell you what. Here's my suggestion. I just want to get Alan down. But still, I can practically smell the blood in the air and I'll do anything to get it. This son of a bitch may be holed up there all cozy with a hostage, but distraction and deceit can be just as effective as the bullet that takes him. I don't need to be the one who gets him, so long as he's got... No, because that will only Isn't get that... me down the stairs. You need to well, yeah, and that. then we can actually talk about it, and then you'll realize how good the people here are. Now, I'm talking all friendly to this guy. I'm trying anything I can to talk him down. Oh, I'm shaking. And it's funny because it's like a mix of rage and pleasure. I know I have this bastard. The suspense is tearing at the walls of my patience, though. I'm unbiased. I'm just going to say that right now. But I like Mr. Poe you got up there. He's my friend. I don't give a fuck what you do, but I would very much to like him like remain amongst the living. So if you could no, do me no, that no, favor, that, I'd be that's grateful. That's the other island, by the way. That's it's not? another island. I'm, I'm what Mr. Moore. Oh. I'm Mr. Moore. I don't know. Yeah, I don't even think I fucking know there. you. <laughs> I do apologize. No, I have you, been mistaken. You know me. I do. You know me. I'm I'm a guard. Well, semi guard here. Uh, you know me. Trust know. me. Yeah. I will set a point. Alan, why don't you just get up on your uh, get up on your seat, walk down the stairs. Okay. Maybe I can go. Well, can you at least put the gun on my back? I can't really do that. No, I can't really can, pick uh, it up with my hand. Alan comes down. Good. Smartest thing that cannibal scum has done all night. The things I would have done if he killed that man. Huh. Thinking of it, I can't, I'm gonna do him anyway. But looking into Alan's eyes as he passes by and makes his way out, I can see the look of intention he has for the things he wants to do, seeing as he survived this experience. They are not unlike mine. Now, something you can tell by looking a man in the eye, you can achieve so much more understanding than mere words can process. I now know we are competing for blood. Question is, who wants it more? The man who's been chasing these people with cold, bloody vengeance, leading his path to avenge a lost friend? Or the man who spent an uncomfortable amount of time dancing on the thread of death with their company. I really would not want to be a cannibal right now. Okay, uh, Mr. Cannibal, why don't you come down too? You were kind enough to release the hostage. No, we will not said, shoot you. I, as I said, my plan is to kill Alan, and I never did. What is your uh, plan then? Because I ain't making a whole lot of fucking sense. Uh, no. exactly. Excuse me, sir. Can you uh, see if you can cut these fucking things off? Why don't you guys off? just come upstairs? And uh, if I see uh, your head, then maybe I pull the trigger. Okay, but well what? What about this alternative? What about we just leave your ass up there at the star for the fucking you. dehydrate yourself to death? Maybe even stinking your own goddamn feces. Because ah, here's the thing: we got forever. Don't you guys know? 
No. Oh Nate? no, I'm uh, uh, Alan, what was his I'm name? I'm good, my Nate. friend, I'm good. I don't know his freaking name. You had to kill well, someone, didn't you? I'll switch some food anyways. No, 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 stop, stop, don't go up, don't go up. Let me go up. Kid, you ain't going up. If I see anyone going up the stairs, I will shoot. I'm warning you uh, guys. Uh, if you wanna uh, live, uh, then the you can stay downstairs and just walk and do your own business. This isn't a negotiation despite how it seems. This is a standoff between wild animals. One backed into a corner and the other slowly closing in. But it... Uh, we well, ain't gonna leave a I psychopath up there on his yeah, lonesome. Do you understand that? Where are you? This is for our own safety. As I said, I will kill the first guy I see walking up these stairs. Here, 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 here. Take That's one thing I can promise. Kid. Oh. Alright, right. what if I ask really nicely? Thank you. I've got a... If you ask really nicely, that's bad of you. You still will be shot on sight. Well, that's just not negotiable at all, is it? Come on, buddy. Well, who said I wanted to negotiate? Well, it's, it's just kind of inconsiderate, you know, oh, you got all this attention die, here. Man. Come on, man, you're being fucking weird. <laughs> now that I know the kind of mentality I have to work with here, I'm having fun now. Uh, I don't think anyone has had this much fun since Rednecks discovered they could get drunk and beat the wives. Let me ask you, man upstairs, you wouldn't happen to be a friend of uh, Claire's, would ya? No, Claire who? Are you sure about that? His voice sounds awful familiar. Maybe Rabbit? Mental note, Claire or Rabbit is connected. I recall meeting this woman the second day into Zion before all this shit went down. She was with some other fella, and he gave me a skull by the clever. Considered getting to know them, but uh, for some reason I had a gut feeling there was something off about them. Now I know. Who is Rabbit? This one really attractive German lady. Uh, the only ladies I've seen are the zombies, and they aren't attractive, I can tell you that. Well, uh, that's or a matter of perspective. That well up. Don't judge me. Well, don't worry, you can say hi to Claire when, when you're done here tonight. Well, I'm not sure who Claire is, but if I see her and if, if I'm still alive, I'll say... Um, no, no, no. Do not be a fucking idiot. Get away from them, man. Get up, get up the stairs. God damn fucking psycho. Come up. Well, what do you plan to do exactly? You're just gonna chill there forever. Yeah, why don't you look oh, yeah. in the next room and see what happened to your friend? Buddy, can I just come up myself? Oh, I'm a nice guy, you'll jump. like me. You promise you're not shooting me, I might even give you some fucking company because this is not fun at all for anyone. Despite the fact I am itching to destroy this man, I have to respect his resilience. He knows this is his end, and he's determined to go out anyway. It's a pity he's one of the scumbags I'm after. I know I might as well be having a debate with a rubber dick with a wig on, but the reality is, I'm just waiting for the right moment. Everything else is the suspended dribble leading up to the bloody end. Bet it's mighty cozy up there. Probably got yourself oh. a little bed made and everything. Well, as yeah. you guys see this uh, flare, it's uh, quite cozy up here. You could yeah. provide me with some mm. decent lighting. Mm. Well, uh, Oops. look, man. Right away. What are you gaining by staying oh, yeah. up so there? I ask, ask yourself I that. I put on my tape. Can you explain to us what you are achieving by being up there? You, a lone fucking cannibal in goddamn Zion and apparent fucking good guy paradise. What is intellectual about this decision of yours? Because from my point of view, it looks pretty fucking retarded.
can can you maybe counter that at all? Or are we just going with you being dumb as shit? I think I got him. No redute. Or is it a what, What's the fucking proper word of it? Will you stop waste, Dude, you're gonna run out of fucking bullets eventually. You keep shooting like that. You really ain't getting it, are you? Rush him up, rush him up, rush him up. Don't rush him up, fuck's sake. He's all nice and cozy out there. Let's just tuck him down. Hey, the man negotiating. Put your... I ain't negotiating worth okay. shit. On the second floor? That motherfucker's sleeping in I my bed. Hey there. Something happened to give us a go. <sighs> you know, I don't like calling you Mr. Oh, Cannibal. I would rather just have your name. Can you at least give me the grace of giving me something to call you? Keep suppressive fire. Please. Well, good. Let him die, but maybe somebody runs up. You can get out. I will give you proper treatment. Stop! Stop! I'm shooting! Front window! Shave! Christ! Lift it up. He's bleeding still. Are you okay, buddy? He drops. I hear the thud of a body hitting wood like a sack of shit, and from the floorboards leaks blood. I move up. I look over the body, and it's it's filled with more holes than all the fucking X Men movies combined. It's it's fucking glorious. It seems Alan got the kill. I don't know how I quite feel yet. Jealous of Alan, maybe. You got him, Alan. Yeah, he killed Mr. Yeah, sure. He killed Mr. Lazarus, by the way. Uh, oh God. Could I get to him? He, uh, he's dead, oh, man. He's fucking there. dead. Oh, guys, yeah. he be dead. Down you go. Is he oh, dead? Guys, down. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. No, yeah, he's alive. Well, I don't know. Let's go. go he down. is dead. Perhaps that I may never know if this was the exact guy who killed Roof. That I, I didn't get to drown in his pain before snatching out the small flame of life I left him. Barbie isn't satisfied. She's royally pissed off now. She's cursing me for not just rushing up to begin with. Well, as, as beautiful as her singing voice is, it's not always in tune. Common sense can prevail. Quiet, Barbie. Quiet. If this son of a bitch brought himself to me, and there's hope for the rest. He's door, alive. guys, I'm He's gonna close alive. this door. He's al always alive. What was that? What? What was that? <laughs> Thank you, God. For this glorious fucking bounty I am about to receive! <laughs>